Hey guys, Premarganites here, and today I am not wearing my contacts because the eyeglass superstore is all the way where my parents live and my order didn't come in on time, so I didn't get them, and it's a big hassle for me to go there, so I am wearing glasses. But today's video is all about lying on the internet, which I just did because I don't wear glasses at all. When I was a little kid, I wished I did, so I used to read in the dark and try to get glasses. But the point of all that is to prove how easy it is to lie on YouTube and to show how much of an honor system this is. You guys will believe pretty much anything I say because you take what I say as truth. And I, like so many other YouTubers, like to respect that sort of thing. But one thing I've noticed a lot as I started to gain more viewership and people following me and things like that is that people just take this hat, the way I dress, my bedroom, this is not a set, this is my bedroom. When all of this is who you are, they kind of just assume that you know everything about Pokemon or have played every single Pokemon game. And I think for most people that is not the case. I know for a fact for me that's not the case at all. So today I've decided to kind of expose myself a little bit and to set the record straight and to give you guys a real answer on all of the Pokemon games I've played from the main series and all of the Pokemon games I've played from like console games and spin-off games and things like that. I'm gonna say this right now, I love Pokemon, I want to know everything about Pokemon but I do not and I definitely haven't played all of the games and probably you guys have favorite games that I haven't played at all but just because I haven't played it yet doesn't mean I don't love Pokemon or won't ever play it in the future. Actually, I really want to take games from this list and play them on YouTube, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to do this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. We're going to go oldest to newest, and then we're going to give myself a grade for all the main series ones, and then a grade for all the other ones, and then combine those grades to see if I pass the Pokemon test. That's basically what this is. This is the Pokemon test. But if you do this and fail, don't worry. You can still like Pokemon just because you haven't played or done everything Pokemon based. So we're going to start this off pretty easily with the main series games to kind of boost my ego a little bit. The morale is going to be there because when we get to spin off games, guys, it is going to... It's gonna plummet. And the reason I'm holding a marker is because my very official list right here, see it says main series games, there's 27, and then spin-off games, there's 60 something. So already we are off to a good start. Don't worry though, I will put an official count somewhere around here right now. And with that, we can begin. I'll also put a link to the website I'm using with the list of all the main series games and all the console games so that if it's incorrect and I'm missing one, you can blame them and not me. All right, main series games, let's do this. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Green, Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow. Red, yes, of course. Pokemon Green, no, because it's the Japanese games. I know some Americans have played it, but me, I never have. But Blue and Yellow, both are yeses there. I actually got to play these games when they were first coming out because I have two older sisters that were into Pokemon when I was really young. So Dana and Raquel, thank you for that. And I'm pretty sure without them, I wouldn't even know what Pokemon was. My life would be completely different. On to Generation 2, we have Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Both of those I have played. I actually have a silver version right here. So that's super cool. And I bought gold when I was really young, but um, I was a really stupid kid, so I don't know where it is. But it doesn't matter because I played it. And as far as Pokemon Crystal goes, no, I haven't played it. I really want to. It's just one of those games that I haven't because I've played Gold and Silver, but it's on the list. I'm going to do it eventually, but as of right now, it's a no. On to Generation 3, we've got Pokemon Ruby, which I did play a lot of. I actually did a lot of shiny hunting on that game, so definite yes there. And Pokemon Sapphire, my brother had it, so I did get to play through it once. I know they're basically the same games, but in regards to this video, yes, I have played both. Next up is Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, and if you guys used to watch my videos when I only did shiny hunting back in the day, you will also know that I did a lot of shiny hunting in those games. I've got five right here, and yes, this one is definitely fake. You can thank my sister Raquel again for that one. But these are probably my most played through games. I've definitely done a lot of shiny hunting on it. I used to do Safari Zone hunting a lot, and Safari Week is coming up probably mid to late June, so I'm going to be doing some more dress up hunts for that, so look forward to that. But even before I did shiny hunting, I would play through Leaf Green like crazy. I would restart it always, and then play through the whole game, get to level 100 on a Pokemon, and then restart again. I don't know why I did that. But then when I wised up, I just liked training Pokemon to level 100. So I had so many Pokemon and so many times did I get through that Elite Four. It was like over 100, probably over 200. Just leveling up Pokemon. Probably my fondest memories of Pokemon came from these games. Next after those games came Pokemon Emerald. And did I play Pokemon Emerald? Is it like Pokemon Crystal? No, I definitely played Pokemon Emerald. I bought this game from a GameStop hoping to shiny hunt on it. The only thing I actually did was just play through it a lot. Now it's restarted at the starters, hoping to do like a mud kip hunt but i just never did it so yeah oh shoot maybe i'll go back and do some broken rng hunting just to kind of expose that a little bit because i know a lot of people don't know about it but yes generation 3 i have played every single game on to the ds games with generation 4. First up is Diamond and Pearl, and there was a moment in my life, guys, I need to kind of talk about this, that I just didn't do anything Pokemon, because 
first light second, I cared about being cool, and Pokemon wasn't cool at the time, so I wasn't playing it when these games came out. So, I'm sorry to say, yes, I have played both of these games. Of course I have. These were the games that got me back into Pokemon when I stopped playing. I had Pearl version first, and then I got Diamond a little later on from a friend named Shiny Collector 7. Pearl was one of those games that really sparked my love for shiny hunting. Before I started hunting full odds, I did a lot of Poke Radar chaining in Pearl, so thanks to Pearl, I am now a shiny hunter. The next game is Pokemon Platinum, which is probably a lot of people's favorite game. And sadly, I don't know why because I've never played it before. I'm sorry, I know so many people love that game, but here's the thing. I do own this game, I have it. I just haven't played through it yet because I'm debating if I wanna hunt a starter, but I'm not ready to hunt that starter yet, so I'm waiting. So it's here, I'm ready to play it, I just haven't done it yet. And I got that one from my friend Nick when he found out that I hadn't played it either. So I get it, everybody wants me to play this game, so I will. The next two games are Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and yes and yes to both of these. I love both of these games. These are the games that I've probably done the most shiny hunting on. I hunt non-stop legendaries on these games. I did my first full odds hunts in these games, and just just continue to hunt in only these games for a really long time. So these are the games that were just like the era of shiny hunting. So these are my favorite games to play, my favorite games to shiny hunt in. They will always be my favorite games because of this. And with that, we close out generation four, only one missing there. So I think that's pretty good. And now we've got generation five, which I will disclose is my least favorite generation, but that doesn't mean I've never played them. Pokemon black and Pokemon white, I have played both. I still enjoyed these games, just not as much as I enjoyed most of the other ones. Then came Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, and I did only play one of them, and it was Black 2. Now on to Generation 6 with Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. When these games came out, I bought Pokemon X and did like a ton of shiny hunting in it because it was super fun. We had no idea what the shinies looked like, so it was all just like a discovery process, and it was the first 3D game. There was just so many things about these games that I loved that it just made them really easy to play. I didn't buy Pokemon Y right away, but I did end up buying it when I did a video with the Aura Guardian, so now I have played both. And as far as Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire go, I only bought one when it came out because I wasn't really into shiny hunting then. I was taking a break from it and I was just doing other things. The one that I did play was Alpha Sapphire, so I never played Omega Ruby, but I'm kind of glad that that's the way it happened because really, playing through these games, I don't even think, should I say this? I don't even think I finished the game. I know the Delta episode is really cool, but it just didn't work for me. I didn't like them that much. So I just did some shiny hunting, beat the Elite Four, and then kind of let it sit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't say I'm sorry enough. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. And now the final generation, Generation 7, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which most of you guys were here for. You guys will know I have played not only Pokemon Sun, but also Pokemon Moon. When these games came out, we knew that the shiny starters were going to be super hard to hunt for. So of course, I had to do it. So naturally, I got both so I'd be able to hunt on both of the games and get it a little bit quicker. It still took a really long time, but it's also really helpful now that I have both games so that I can do my other shiny hunts dual hunting too. So yes, I've done all of Generation 7, and if a new Generation 7 game comes out for Switch or 3DS or whatever it may be, I'll definitely be playing that one too. And with that, we have gone through every single main series Pokemon game, and I have played 22 out of 27, which roughly as a percentage is 82%, which I expect it to be a little bit higher than that. God only knows what the percentage is going to be for the spinoff game. Games. But really, that's not too bad. I got a B when you think most of these games are the same game, just a different version. It's like, yeah, 82. That's okay. Not too bad. I think the reason I think that's so low for me is because as a shiny hunter, most shiny hunters have every single version to hunt on. And for me, that's just not the case. I do have a twin brother and he usually gets the opposite version of me. So for a really long time, I was only getting one of two versions. And if you guys did this with me, definitely give your ratios and percentages in the comments below. So now the easy part's over, we are moving on to spin-off and console games. This actually makes me physically nervous. I, I have really bad anxiety right now. I'm probably gonna move through these a little bit quicker just because there's like 60 of them. All right, let's do this. Spin-off games, I'm just gonna read them straight off my computer right here. We're starting with PC games and moving on to console right now. Here we go. Pokemon Play It. No. Pokemon Project Studio. No. Pokemon Master Arena. Pokemon Team Turbo, Pokemon TCG Online. No, no, yes. On to console games with Nintendo 64, we've got Pokemon Stadium. Heck yes, I played Pokemon Stadium. This is one of my most favorite Pokemon games ever just because I was so young when I played it. Pokemon Stadium 2, no, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Pokemon Puzzle League. I don't know what the heck that is. Pokemon Snap. No, and I don't know why this is a game that I really want to play through, but now it's kind of awesome because it means that I can do a playthrough of this game on YouTube and it will be my first ever experiencing it. So that makes it better, right? Hey, you Pikachu. No. Now on to GameCube and a little spoiler alert, I did not own a GameCube, so I think you know what the answers are going to be. I'm letting everyone down right now. Pokemon Coliseum. 
No. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. I haven't. I'm sorry. Now onto the Wii games, and to give you a little relief, yes, I did have a Wii, and to kind of cancel that relief, it's still not good. Pokemon Battle Revolution. Yes! Pokemon Battle Revolution is a game that got me into competitive battling. I used to do double battles online all the time and with my twin brother, Dylan. So finally, we got a yes there. We are sitting at three. That is really, really bad. Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. No, I never played the Poke Park series. Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. No, I never played the Poke Park series. My Pokemon Ranch, never did it. Pokemon Rumble. Now, say what you want about all of the games I haven't played, but I take pride in how much I have played Pokemon Rumble. There is no way Nintendo expected people to play this game more than once, but me and a lot of my friends and other shiny hunters, probably a lot of you guys, have just killed the heck out of this game. We play it over and over and over, and it's not a big game. There's only like eight different stages. There's only so much you can do, but because there's shinies in it, yes, I have played Pokemon Rumble. Now onto Wii U, there were only two Pokemon games for it. It was Pokemon Rumble U, which I didn't play because there weren't shinies in it, and Pokemon Tournament, which for some reason I also never played. It looks really fun. I played Smash. And now onto all of the handheld spin-off games. Let's do this quick. Game Boy Color, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, no. Pokemon Pinball, no. Pokemon Trading Card Game, no. Pokemon Card GB2 Team Great Rocket is here, no. Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire, yes, I did play this game. Not only for Game Boy Advance, but I did play it for PC too. So does that count as two points? Okay. Nintendo DS, Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, and Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs. I did play the first one, didn't play the second one, and didn't play the third one. Pokemon Trozy, no. Pokemon Dash, no. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I don't know what went wrong in this part of my life, but I have never played a single Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. So all of them we will cross off right now. I'm gonna go through the rest of them quick. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Explorers of Darkness, Explorers of Time, Explorers of Sky. I already said I never played Mystery Dungeon games and I'm sorry. If this was actual school, I feel like there would be a parent-teacher conference at this point. <sighs> Let's move on. Pokemon Conquest. No. Learn with Pokemon. Typing Adventure. No. Pokemon Rumble Blast. Yes, I did play Pokemon Rumble Blast. Pokedex 3D. I never played it. Pokemon Dream Radar. No. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. I think we know the answer. Pokemon Art Academy. Nope, my art is terrible. But maybe if I played this game, it would be better. Pokemon Shuffle. Yes, I did play Pokemon Shuffle both for the 3DS and for my mobile device, and I am counting that as two different games because I did two different files. Pokemon Rumble World. Yes. All right, we're getting a few points here. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Okay. Pokemon Picross. No. Detective Pikachu. No. Pokemon Arcade Games. Pokemon Batrio. No. Pokemon Treta, which is the sequel to Batrio. No. And Pokemon Tournament. No. Again. No. Now Mobile Games. Camp Pokemon. Never played it. Pokemon Dance. Never played it. Pokemon Shuffle Mobile. Yeah, we gave myself a point earlier for that. Pokemon TCG Online. Yes, I have played this. Pokemon Go. Yes, of course I've done Pokemon Go. It's getting so bad that it's to the point when I see a Pokemon game that I've actually played, I get excited about it. And now finally, we are at other Pokemon games that didn't fit into another category that I've already gone over. Pokemon Mini, which is kind of like all of the mini games, Pokemon Party Mini, Pokemon Pinball Mini, Pokemon Puzzle Collection, Pokemon Zany Cards, and these are all games that were only available at Pokemon Centers. I've never been to a Pokemon Center. No. Then there's other games that were only available in Pokemon Centers in Japan, like Pokemon Tetris, Pokemon Race, Pokemon Puzzle Collection 2, Pichu Bros Mini, Pokemon Breeder, and Togepi's Great Adventure, which is six other games that I have not played. And last but not least, board games. The Pokemon board game, which I have played, we did own this for a really long time, so that one I'll throw myself a bone there. And then there was Pokemon Monopoly, which I've seen in stores, Pokemon Uno, which I had no idea was a thing, Pokemon Sorry, and Pokemon Yahtzee. I had no idea that those even existed, so I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't play those either. And so I guess that's it. That's all of the Pokemon spinoff games that are on this list, so out of 60 something, I don't have the exact total right now, but I got 13. 13. That is really bad. That is depressing. But like I said at the beginning of this video, just because you don't do well on this test, just because you haven't played every single Pokemon game, it doesn't mean you're not a Pokemon fan. It doesn't mean you're a worse Pokemon fan than someone else. Everybody can love Pokemon no matter how immersed in the universe you get or no matter how much you have seen or know about it. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's not even fun to know everything about something because you're not going to learn anything new about it. So yes, maybe I'm not the biggest expert on the Pokemon on games, but that's what makes every fan unique. But that's going to do it for this edition of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this little test. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Like I said at the start, if you guys do this test, definitely leave your results in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos are coming very soon, but until next time, this is Supreme Arcanine signing out. See you guys later.